Good day for an update on the ponds today. It's overcast, it's cold, it's been raining for a few days, which we love the rain out here in Utah. But we, uh, we've made some changes here with our greenhouse pond, so I thought it'd be a good day to just give you an update on what we've done. You can see there's a turtle, some koi, some goldfish, and I'm just backing up here, I'll tell you a little about the pond. There's about 2,300 gallons between the pond, the strawberry trellis above, got a filter, a sump, some grow beds. Nice added feature to the geothermal greenhouse in the snow. We absolutely love this pond and love turning on the Bluetooth, listening to some music from my generation back in the 80s and just staring at this window and watching these inhabitants. We used to have rainbow trout and we had planned to put trout back in here, but we ultimately decided not to. Rainbow trout had a couple of challenges. Number one, this pond in the summer gets up to 68, 69 degrees. It's really too warm for rainbow. Other challenge is that they're jumpers. We had a couple of them jump out of the pond. But we don't like that. They don't like that. They're not very social, tend to hang out on the bottom. They did get pretty big. I'll show you that guy. Isn't that cool? Not a bad way to spend a Sunday. So ultimately when we, we had to rebuild this pond because of a bow in this front wall, when it came time to put fish back in here, we started with goldfish just to kind of cycle the pond and see how they were doing. Ultimately, we went with koi for a couple reasons. Number one, they're very social. They will hang out by the viewing window. They will interact with us. They get big, they're very colorful and they have been fun to have around. We've had them in here for about a month now. The downside to the koi versus rainbow is you're not gonna eat koi fish because it's a type of a carp. But we don't intend to eat the fish. They're just here for us to enjoy them and hopefully for them to enjoy this pond. And so my thought is we do have a pond on the outside of this greenhouse. If we have too many or they get too big, we can move them between ponds. We also thought it'd be fun to do an annual sale where we just sell some of the koi that we don't need to keep here. So it'll be a journey. We'll learn a lot. Hopefully we'll have a lot of fun. We'll make some mistakes like we always do, but we think this is the right choice for this pond in this greenhouse. Let me know your thoughts. What would you do if this was your pond? What would you put in here? Do you think we made a mistake? What recommendations would you have for us moving forward? As always, we love your feedback. And that's it for now.